Last week we had a look at our engine room. Well, we've done our fluids and we've done our filters now and we know about belts. But what other things are gonna bring us unstuck on our weekend out in the boat? Well, it's normally the simple stuff. Fresh water pumps, toilets, next thing you know, you're on your way home. Well, spare parts. Well, how many parts do we need to bring? Well, it's a piece of string, so I like to keep it simple. The really important one is fresh water. Well, there's your fresh water pump. Well, that seems great, but if you go out and just buy a pump in a box, you're not gonna be plug and play. It's important, just like last week in the engine room, you need to go down and check all your serial numbers, make sure you get a dead set same match. Well, as well, some other handy things on board are these little numbers here. These are called duck bills and they go into your toilet and often you might have your toilet running continuously and you think it's blocked and whatnot. It'll be a duck bill. They're a bit tricky to change but they're handy to have on board. That will stop the toilet from continuously running. A couple other bits and pieces I like to keep on board. There's always a float switch. Well, if you're gonna get a float switch, have a look in your shower sump box and get the one that matches there. That's usually the one that's gonna cause you trouble out in the water. Shower starts to back up, family's had enough, let's go home again. Another really handy thing to have on board, you don't wanna be that boat, so always have yourself a holding tank filter on board as well. So don't forget to get yourself a battery isolator switch. They always seem to break at the worst of times. So get yourself one of these, always keep it on board. Make sure it's a match for the one you've got on your boat. Okay, so I've covered the stuff we need to go out and buy, but you know, you're not gonna be able to change all this stuff without some basic tools and some bits and pieces. So I thought I'd just cover some other stuff while I'm here. First of all, tender repair kit, always handy. You can have a mishap real quick with your tender. As well, I found this product a while ago. It's called Rescue Tape. Well, it's a fantastic product. Hydraulic lines you can even fix up with this stuff. It's good to have it on board. A little plumbing blowout, hose, whatnot, you can fix it up. Always have a bit of thread tape on board. Bit of electrical tape, that's always great. I love my 100 mile an hour tape. You've got a hatch leak or something, got to get that stuff all around the edges, it'll sort it out. Always carry yourself a bit of sealant. I always use the old Fixtex, I love that as well. Got myself a little test pen just to find out about power, if we've got power here or not. Some grease, good stuff. Also, good bag of zippy ties. You need a bright torch, you don't want to work in the dark, try and figure this stuff out. Also, a small electrical kit, doesn't go astray. I also carry a really easily good set of stainless steel. Takes a while to gather up that much. Earmuffs, definitely, always. And some jumper leads. Jumper leads are one of those great ones to have on board your boat. Not all generator batteries are run off your battery charger. So what can happen is you can have a flat battery on your gen set. You won't be able to start it unless you've got a jump pack or some jumper leads. It's time to talk about tools. Well, we don't need the whole workshop. We just need enough tools to keep us out of trouble. Well, one of the things I like to bring with me usually is some gloves, especially when you start dealing with the toilet stuff. As well, a couple shifters, they're always handy. I like my flat blade and my Phillips head screwdriver and my handy little pick. These little picks, they can be fantastic for getting all sorts of things out of difficult places. I've got my multi-grips, set of ice grips, great tools, always keep you out of trouble. You need a hammer, that's always important. Some wire strippers and some wire crimpers. I've also got myself here, just a simple wrap of spanners. Uh, really, that's about all we need to cover us for most of these jobs we're gonna do here. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Safe boating. Mm -hmm.